Hi, I'm Dan Metzinger, a technical solutions executive here at Autodesk. Today, we're going to talk about technological innovations in construction, the reception, the application, and a logical path forward for those trying to drive adoption within their organizations. Prior to joining Autodesk, I spent 15 years in the industry as a construction project manager, and I was known for being a, a person who pushed technology as a key differentiator within the organizations that I worked. Now, when I first started the first couple of years, I really just sat back and learned as one should. I learned really quickly that a big part of the job, if not all the job, is risk management. There was a lot of things that, that were missing within the industry and technology was the solution to help shore up a lot of those gaps. Prior to technology being a viable solution to solve for some of these issues, the industry was rather reactive. So you would have potentially some source of litigation pop up or insurance issue pop up that would then generate some sort of paper form and that would be sent out to the field amongst stacks of drawings. And at this point in time, a lot of superintendents were really just running around with Blackberries that had access to email and everything else was a paper process. Over the years, that paper process got more and more robust because there was more and more issues to solve for. And it wasn't until around 2011 when the advent of the iPad came up and at that point started to get people's mind thinking about how they might be able to shift this very manual paper workflow into a more streamlined digital workflow. It was early 2011 when I bought my first iPad, personal iPad, and I loaded PDFs of drawings onto it as a means of not having to carry paper back and forth from office to job site. It was at that point that I learned that technology adoption in the field, there is a lot of hesitancy. My first experiences were superintendents that would literally laugh at me when I would come out with an iPad with drawings because they would say, there's no world where that's going to become what the industry is. Everybody was so in tune with their paper processes, they could not think of anything different. It wasn't until later 2011 when PlanGrid was introduced where that narrative started to shift quite a bit. What I learned is it takes a true champion of technology to break through that initial wave of hesitancy and demonstrate value to really break that narrative of it's a cool toy. From the top down management all the way out to the field, the industry tends to view itself in a very traditional sense, pouring concrete, hammering nails, the manual process of construction. Most are unaware of how rich the technology and the data tied to it really is, and the champions are trying to actively redefine what that looks like. So as the industry is making this shift from very traditional manual processes to the point of embracing technology, a lot of people are viewing technology as a competitive advantage. That is today. Tomorrow, those who don't embrace technology will be flat out uncompetitive. And sadly, some of those may be relegated to smaller work or maybe no work at all. So thank you very much for joining us for another episode in this series. And of course, if you are interested in more information, we encourage you to reach out in the link in the description down below.